Welcome to this CapCut PC Overlay Tutorial 2024. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do three things. One, how to overlay images or video on top of another video. And then I'm going to show you how to remove background from your images and then how to keyframe them to make them have life in your image. This is going to give you the professional look you are looking for in your video. So if this is something you want to learn, make sure you are relaxed, seated and let's get straight right onto it. So the first step is to bring in our main video. As you can see, this is a dancing lady. So please, a like to the channel will be danceable. Thank you and let's go. Remember to subscribe and we will all dance together. For those that subscribe already thank you very much i really appreciate you next step let's bring in this puppy cute puppy as you can see it's appearing by the side of the video that is not what we want we want it on top that is where overlay is right so bringing it on top we'll drag it out so to bring it on top from this side all i needed to do was to left click move my mouse to the stop pressing down my left click button very important and now that i have it i'm going to increase it so left click again press your left click down and drag okay so now we have that and now we see there is a little error which we are going to correct right about now our cute puppy is in the frame it's nice to meet your cute puppy but now we need to get the white background out so how do we do that we go over to video and cut out and you'll be met with this screen now you'll be wondering but we can remove the background of an image right yes you're right but you can do it for some particular kind of image is a trick and you are learning that trick now so if you are still watching congratulations so that trick is to click on chroma key especially if the background is just a one background like this like white black blue it works then we'll go to color picker and we'll click on the picker there then we'll pick the white so we just left click to pick the white and then we have the strength and shadow up here we just need the strength at one or two okay so you see just leaving it at one we already have the white background out of the image and if you move it as you can see we totally have the white background gone you can increase the shadow by three okay you just give it that natural looking blur and then we can reduce it in two ways i'm going to be showing you one is to click on one of these dots left click on that move your cursor back and forth to reduce and the second trick is to go back to basics and you have the scale and you can increase that or reduce that okay so now let's add life to this puppy because we don't just want it sitting there without movement right so now we're going to go to the beginning of this video all right that's where we want to start our experiment from so we are going to hit the keyframe so this is how to add keyframe we're going to be adding keyframe and now we move our front okay you can also do the shift and move front like that so you press on your shift key and your front or back arrow you can also use that so we're just going to add a keyframe here now okay so all we needed to do is just to increase the scale and it will automatically add a keyframe as you can see so we'll do shift key again and move our cursor forward and then we play with the scale again okay you see automatically add a keyframe once we move forward again by pressing down shift key and our forward arrow it automatically disappears here as you can see but then once we scale back or forth it automatically adds a keyframe right so we can keep doing that right keep doing that as much as we want just to make the dog lively you might be talking about the dog so you just keep doing that okay so you can reduce it as much as you want and then you increase it back at the end okay so that is it we have the dog now so if we go back and play this video from the end so you see dog is slowly getting bigger and reducing and all okay 
so you can actually see the way that works it's super easy to do not complicated so you can go ahead and add another image to it if you want one to the side so you see once again it appeared by the side of the image we just need to lift it up by pressing our left mouse click button down and moving our cursor our mouse then we drag again to fill and then we are going to remove once again the background you can see this is not totally white but because of CapCut AI possibility it's going to be easy to remove so let's go pick it again we'll pick out the colors one more time okay and then we can increase the strength let's see super easy not complicated at all and we have it there okay so we have it and now we can just put that to the side and then we can also do basic and just do the positioning keyframe rotational keyframe let me show you rotational keyframe the way it works so you can have a key keyframe now this is rotational so you can do this okay and now once you move your cursor forward you can rotate it and it's going to add another keyframe you rotate it you move it again forward I hope this tutorial is interesting and you are loving it okay so you can keep doing that and you have that rotational keyframe okay so you have it and we can do one more final little adjustment there and now if you go back and play all forward you see all have movements to them and so you can see lively and all moving well Okay, they are all moving at their own pace as you can see so that's how to do CapCut PC overlay on CapCut PC thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one remember to stay blessed and subscribe to the channel if you've not done that already see you on the next video stay blessed